Financial Literacy for Kids, Part 7, Calculating Interest. Part of becoming financially literate is understanding what interest is and how to calculate it. Today, we are going to do just that with the help of our friend, Frankie Finance. Simply put, interest is an amount of money you either pay or earn depending on the situation. If you borrow money from a bank or another lender, you will have to pay interest. People borrow money to help them pay for cars, mortgages, vacations, college, and starting businesses. Sometimes people have to borrow money to pay for health care or medicine. Basically, there are lots of reasons people may need to borrow money. On the other hand, if you save money at a bank, you will be able to earn interest. Some people like to open up a savings account at a bank in order to keep their money in a safe place while also earning interest. The amount of money you start with, either that you are borrowing or are saving, is called the principal. Another term you should be familiar with is rate. The rate is the percentage a company or bank charges you for borrowing their money or pays you for keeping your money in their bank. Cool, right? Now that we know what interest, principal, and rate mean, we can actually calculate interest. It all comes down to math. Remember this mathematical equation for simple interest, because we are going to use it in just a minute. Interest equals principal multiplied by rate multiplied by time in years. This is where our pal Frankie comes in. Frankie saved $200 and decided to put it into a savings account. The bank she is using has set their interest rate at 15% per year. How much interest will Frankie earn in one year? Let's use our handy-dandy math equation to figure it out together. First, though, we have to convert the rate, which in this case is 15%, into decimal format, like so. 15% equals 0.15. Okay. Now, we are ready to use the equation. First, we know that the principal amount, or the amount that Frankie started with, is $200. Next, we know that the rate equals 0.15. As for time, we know that the bank calculates their rates yearly. So, that number would be 1 for 1 year. Got it? Great! Based on this equation, how much interest will Frankie have earned in one year? $30 is pretty impressive, right? If Frankie leaves $200 in her account for the entire year, she will earn $30 in interest for a total of $230. Using this same equation, how much money will she earn in interest in five years? Let's use our equation again to figure it out. So, after five years, Frankie will earn $150 in interest for a total of $350 in savings. Isn't interest cool? Just remember that the opposite is also true. If Frankie borrowed $200 instead of saving it, at a rate of 15% per year, she would owe $30 more than the original amount she borrowed. So, she would owe $230, even though she only borrowed $200. And if it took her five years to pay the loan back, she would be responsible for paying an additional $150 in interest, which means she would have to pay her lender $350 total. Knowing how to calculate interest 
is yet another tool in your financial literacy toolbox. Don't forget to practice your new skills and to share what you have learned. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers. Thank you.